I have a completely boring evening ahead of me unless I make a fucking video. So I thought I'd address the top six false, exaggerated and nonsensical claims about electronic music that you hear on a daily basis. Why top six? Because, well, ten is a bit too much and five is a little bit too little. So without further ado, let's begin. Electronic music is purely mechanical and totally devoid of any emotional content. This ridiculously ignorant excuse for an argument is easily negated simply by the existence of a little something called automation. Automation allows you to make the music speed up and slow down accordingly. You can change the volume of certain parts so that you can bring out particular melodies that you'd like people to hear. You can manipulate the sound in several ways. You can use equalizers to bring out the bass or the treble. You can create mellow sounds or harsh, piercing sounds and everything in between. You can use reverb, delay, chorus, flangers, phasers, overdrive and distortion. The same sort of stuff that you will see on a modern guitar amp. Here's a radical concept that people under the mental age of five may find difficult to understand. Expression of emotion through music and manipulation of sound are one and the same thing. If I want to convey anger, for example, through the piano, then I will perhaps play loudly. I'll play, I'll play louder, I'll play in a minor key, I'll use lots of big chords, you know, that sort of thing. I'm manipulating the sound when I do that. If I want to play more calmly and I want, I want to convey a serene more delicate mood, I'll use the soft pedal. One and the same thing, it's all sound manipulation used to convey emotion. The reason the piano was initially called the Piano Forte was because, in comparison with its predecessors, it had a much greater dynamic range, you could play much softer, and it could also take much more of a battering than its predecessors. So, um, the reason that these innovations were developed was because people wanted to express more emotions in their music. They wanted to be able to do more. And the same thing applies to electronic music. The reason that so much developments have been made with electronic music and new technology is because people want to be able to do more. They want to express more emotion. If electronic musicians didn't want to express more emotion and have more things to do with their music, then there would be no logical reason for such innovations like equalizers and all the rest of it to take place. The very existence of automation is proof that there is demand from some electronic musicians at least to express more emotion through their playing. Secondly, does the level of emotion expressed not vary from one piece to another? It's the same as acoustic music. You will find lots of acoustic music which is very mechanical, uh, like Baroque music for example, lots of Bach stuff on the harpsichord is very mechanical in its nature and not particularly expressive. When, in, when compared with Liszt, Liszt is extremely expressive. It varies from one piece to another, and the same applies with electronic music. Music creation programs are easy to use. Visual editing software is easy to use. Do you understand how incredibly ridiculous a statement like that is? If so, congratulations, you're not a complete and utter moron. And you probably understand that it's incredibly unfair to pretend that everyone in the professional editing world uses Windows Movie Maker. The level of technical difficulty and complexity varies from one piece of music creation software to another, obviously. Secondly, where do you draw the conclusion that something is easy? Typically, it would be from personal experience or the experience of a friend, considering the fact that whether or not something is easy or difficult is usually a subjective notion. While a particularly logically minded person will find arithmetic incredibly easy, someone who's more emotionally driven will not. So if you're going to claim that music creation programs are easy to use, then first of all, can you give an example of a program that you or a friend have had experience with, rather than simply using the term music creation programs in a totally vague and woolly sense. Otherwise, it's just nonsense. This is a Thor polysonic synthesizer. This, whether you like it or not, requires a lot of knowledge and effort in order to learn how to use it. This is a Maelstrom grain table synthesizer. Again, knowledge, skill, and effort. These are all screenshots from Reason 4, which, might I add, isn't exactly the gold standard in sound engineering. Do you feel sick yet? But don't worry, 
most professional producers tend to use Logic Pro or failing that Pro Tools. Electronic music is just clicking, dragging and dropping. Again, this is something which depends on the program you're using. If you're using Dance EJ4, then yes, it is just a case of clicking, dragging and dropping. But other than that, it's just a hasty generalization because the majority of professionals don't use that. So I refer you to the answer I gave earlier. Electronic music requires no musical skill. Again, this is something which varies from program to program and also from song to song. But to just outright declare that electronic music requires no skill at all is a very hasty generalization. Most, if not all, programs at a professional level give you the option of recording live audio and or using a MIDI sequencer. When you're using a MIDI sequencer, you can play the notes on a keyboard for the computer to pick up, which, funnily enough, requires you to be able to play the keyboard. The extent of skill involved varies with what you're playing. With MIDI sequencing, the alternative to playing the notes through a keyboard is to plot them out one by one using your mouse, which I admit is a truly soporific and tedious process that requires little to no musical skill, so to speak. However, it does require theoretical knowledge in that you need to understand which combinations of notes work well, you need to understand harmony, melody, chord progressions and rhythm as well. So the idea that electronic music is somehow musically defunct solely for the fact that it's produced electronically is nothing more than a lie. There are people out there who write electronic music that tend to use instruments or sing when performing live. And again, the skill involved varies with what you're actually playing. Now granted, they might be in the minority considering the masses of pop garbage that many people are unfortunately subjected to every time they enter a fucking shopping centre, but the point still stands. Some people may be highly accomplished musicians, but they choose electronic music as an outlet because in many ways it offers a greater range of creative freedom. Electronic synthesizers aren't musical instruments. If someone ever brings this up, you're in dangerous territory. I mean, this is some really high-grade, ignorant and insipid bollocks you're dealing with. Seriously. Okay, okay, let's, let's examine the properties of an electronic synthesizer. A. It's used to create rhythms. B. It's used to create melodies. C. It's often triggered by a keyboard. What fucking planet are you living on if you don't think that that's a musical instrument? I'm going to show you a list now of some bands and musicians that have used synthesizers. Franz Ferdinand, The Doors, The Beatles, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Pink Floyd, Stevie Wonder, Queen, Frank Zappa, Genesis, The Rolling Stones, Radiohead, Moby, David Bowie, Michael Jackson, Rush, Yes, Queens of the Stone Age, MGMT, and Dream Theater. I mean, this is just to name a few. They're hundreds more. And secondly, this is only under the category, when I looked this up, this was only under the category of a Moog synthesizer, which is an incredibly basic form, out of hundreds. Especially with today's modern technology, the range of sounds that you can produce with an electronic synthesizer nowadays occupies a massively broad spectrum. The synthesizer is an incredibly sophisticated musical instrument, especially if it's on a computer program. Why might I say that? Well, take the piano for example. You have one particular sound that you can play around with and manipulate within that specific timbre. However, with a synthesizer, you know, if I have my keyboard hooked up to my laptop, it makes whatever sound I program it to make. And that's the beauty of it. You have so much greater freedom. Electronic music is not music. Yes, people often do actually phrase it like that. And I find it especially funny when they do it angrily, because of how contradictory it is. Imagine if someone angrily says to you, this apple isn't an apple. It's ridiculous, isn't it? The problem is, though, there's a reason why they're phrasing it like that. And the reason is because they simply don't want you to know exactly what they're trying to say. Which is, of course, that it's not music if it's produced electronically. And there is no basis for such a ridiculous claim, even by some of the more narrow definitions of music. So to finish off the video, here is my challenge to anyone who subscribes to that ridiculously moronic viewpoint that it's not music if it's produced electronically. Why? Provide evidence or give a reasonable argument that doesn't stink of elitism.